Hi you guys, it's Jennifer and welcome back to Little Green Farmhouse. I'm here today to share with you a project that I'm super excited about. Um, it is cleaning the hard water deposits off of glass shower doors. We moved into this house last October and this area has super hard water. We're on a well and even though we have a water softener on the house, there's still hard water buildup. And when we moved into the house though, these shower doors already were just caked with hard water deposits. Um, and so we inherited it this way because we've lived in places with hard water in the past, but because we keep the shower doors clean and we use a squeegee all the time, we never have had a, a big problem with buildup on the glass. But um, this is what came to us when we moved in. So we were tempted at one point to just get rid of the doors altogether and just buy new ones. Um, but you know, I guess I was just convinced that we would be able to find something. So I have tried all kinds of stuff. I mean, I've used CLR, Lime Away. Um, I've taken paper towels and soaked them with vinegar and laid them on the glass and you know, kept them wet and soaked with vinegar. That's supposed to help. Nothing was gonna get this stuff off of here. I mean, it, it might have made a slight little dent, but nothing that I could see because the buildup was so bad. Well, my husband and I have been on a quest, and so we finally figured out the secret, you guys. I mean, this is, this will work for you. Let me just tell you that. Now, it's not a quick fix. You, it will take a little bit of time, and I would say, if I had to do again, I would have done it at a cooler time of year because it was pretty hot and it took us several hours to do this, just mostly because there's time in between steps. So what I used, first of all, is this product, and I'll pop in a picture for you here, called Barkeeper's Friend. Um, this is actually a product that is a type of an acid. Now, it's not an acid like, um, you know, an acid that's gonna burn a hole through plastic. Um, more like vinegar is an acid or like orange juice is an acid, except stronger than that. So they recommend that you have gloves on when you use uh, Barkeeper's Friend. It's really good to use on sinks and, you know, tubs and things that have build up or tend to get build up and they'll just really shine up and polish up a sink, by the way. Um, just make sure that you read the back to um, you know find out that whatever surface you're using on it on is intended for um, use with that kind of a product. So anyway, so um, I thought this would be perfect. I'd been using it on my sink that had really bad hard water buildup on it, and um, it, it worked beautifully. So I thought this would be perfect. So we um, so that was part of what we used, and then the other thing my husband had found on Pinterest. Um, this uh, car shop that does car de detailing and they were talking about how to clean up a car windshield and not that it had hard water buildup but mostly that it was cleaned up and then using a product that repels the rain and so what we thought is if we could get the hard water off of it and then treat it so that the water beads off of it, we would be less likely to have this happen in the future so that this would just be a one-time deal, we're hoping. I think it will be because we, we keep our shower doors pretty clean and so now that we're starting from scratch, I think it'll be pretty easy to, to maintain that. Um, so anyway, um, let me go ahead and show you how this thing worked out. Okay, so here are the shower doors. Hopefully you can see this. Um, they just, uh, you know, there's just a lot of hard water buildup on them, and um, that's what I'm going to work on, especially like this right here. Look at that. And um, we use a squeegee, but we started out when we moved into this house, this stuff was already here, so um, we're going to attempt with a new approach. Okay, so here's what we're going to use. We're going to start with Barkeeper's Friend. Uh, I learned about this from uh, Carrie from Norway. So thank you, Carrie. This did an amazing job getting rid of hard water 
<clears throat> build up on my kitchen sink after we moved in. Um, my husband also picked up some really, really fine, fine um, steel wool. It's not supposed to scratch glass. And this stuff that is by Rain-X, and this is actually designed for windshields on cars. And so you clean the windshield, and then, um, and they recommend using this kind of steel wool. And then you put this, um, or actually this is the cleaner, and then this is a repellent that you put on there, and so it uh, keeps, it just pushes the water away. So we're hoping that using that on shower doors will um, keep it from getting build up again in the future. So that's, that's kind of the plan of attack for today. So we moved it out here on the rocks because we didn't want any of these chemicals to um, go on our patio and then get washed out into the grass. We put it between two little, uh, you know, outdoor coffee table kind of things so that that bar right there would have a place to go so that the, um, the door would sit um, flat. And then um, we have some water in a bucket here and I'm wearing um, a glove on my hand and uh, we're ready to go. Okay, so um, we got most of the hard water buildup off. That is just some of the barkeeper's friend that's on the table. If you look over here, you might be able to see there's a little bit of the hard water buildup still. So after going at this twice, um, now uh, John is checking the Pinterest page where he saw um, the information on how to do this. And uh, so then what we're going to do is use that the little... Um, steel wool stuff and try to go for getting the rest of that stuff off. Um, this is not a simple process, but you know, this was years of buildup on these shower doors. And this is just shower door number one. But um, you know, once it's done, then I think that it, it'll be so much easier to clean because it's going to have a water repellent on it. Okay, so he's applying it on the cloth. And according to the video, as you put it on, you'll be able to see the places where the Rain-X is and the places where it is not, because it makes kind of a film. Are you able to see in this light? No, mm -hmm. but he just said to go with overlapping swirls. Yeah, apparently if you miss a spot, then when water hits it, you'll really know. So, make sure you get those edges, yeah, so, so the whole idea is to just make sure you get this whole thing really covered in this film. So almost, he's, he's described it as being like um, how a car would look, the paint on a car would look when, when you put wax on it before you buff it. Okay, so he has one, look at all the stuff we have over here, paper towel stuff. Anyway, um, he has one coat on there, and then you put on a second coat. Um, so now we put on a second coat, you just want to make sure it's really, really good and covered. Are we letting it dry in between? Yes. Ten minutes? So we've been letting the rain -X dry on this thing. Of course, it's propped up against a tree. Now the next step is to take a wet cloth, not dripping but quite wet and run it all over there to kind of wash the stuff off but you don't spray it with a hose you just use a wet cloth and then after that we um buff it out with a dry cloth and that's the last step okay you guys look at this it is all clean now it is so that's not a line from that's just a reflection from the other um piece but Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This looks so... Is that the coolest thing, you guys? Now, it did take us probably about three hours from start to finish. Um, we took the doors out, and while, the do while we were working on the doors, I went back inside and took advantage of the time with the doors out, and I just sprayed some stuff in the track. Because the track of, of sliding glass doors, you know, in showers can get kind of icky and, and even though you're cleaning it or spraying stuff sometimes it's just hard to get all of that out so since the doors were out i just took advantage of that time to clean it up let let some stuff sit on it and then used a brush to scrub everything out okay 
So. But with the doors, you know, we, we scrubbed with the barkeeper's friend and then we went back and we did it again because we didn't get the result we wanted. It was then that we went to that really fine steel wool. Remember, if you use that stuff, it's um, four zeros. It's number zero, 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 zero. That's the, I think the finest kind of steel wool. If you use something that's heavier than that, you're gonna risk scratching the glass. So we went to that and then worked on the rest of the, of the hard water deposits. And, um, and then it was after that that we applied the rain -X. We didn't want to put rain -X on top of any um, of the deposits there. So we really spent a lot of time removing that. So that really is, um, is how it all worked out. We did that last weekend, so it's been a week now. And the, since we're, we use a squeegee whenever we um, use the shower, well, first of all, the rain -X is making the water bead off of it, so there's very little water left on the showers, um, on the shower doors, and then we just use the squeegee and it, you know, the rest of it dries really nicely. And it has maintained um, the way it looks, and it's wonderful, and I'm so excited because every time I walked into that bathroom, I would just kind of cringe because to me it just sort of made the shower look dirty. And now it's nice and shiny and I love it. So hopefully this was helpful to you, you guys. And if you try it and it works out, I'd love to hear about it. Or if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, I'm gonna link for you in the space below the video of the the guy who did the car detailing if you want to see you know have some more detailed instructions about using the rain -X. but we we followed his instructions but i'll link that for you in the space below if you're not a subscriber to little green farmhouse this is a channel about everything home related gardening cooking crafting cleaning organizing and i would love to have you come along so hit that button right there youtube will let you know when i upload new videos which is quite often i also do vlogs so i do little snippets of daily life and those go up usually about once a week so anyway hope i will see you again on little green farmhouse and thanks so much for watching take care you guys bye bye